Hey, you guys. San Marie. So, I'm going to see if you can get a better view of my tree here. So, guess where I'm at? I can't see myself, so. I'm at the Gift of Light Expo again. <clears throat> here in Columbus, Ohio, at the fairgrounds. And it's been a beautiful day. And, of course, I wanted to come outside. And I found a tree that was calling me. And so, I'm sitting under the tree. I just did a, a little mini meditation. Put my feet in the dirt. And I always carry cards with me. And I got this amazing deck. It's the Transcendent Journeys, I believe. I got it from Gemini's uh, Eclectic Emporium uh, this past weekend. And absolutely loving the deck. I resonate with every single person in this deck. I know somebody that reminds me of the same energy in this deck. So I want to pull a card for you guys real quick. There is a class that I want to attend. Um, that's why I like coming um, to these because there's really amazing presenters um, here. The vendors are great. Um, I actually went ahead and got a reading um, and I cannot wait to just chew on all of that. Uh, an amazing read. So anyway, let's go ahead and pull some cards and see what kind of messages we can get real quick. I'm a divine. I'm divinely protected. No weapon against me shall prosper. I'm sending healing love and energy to anybody who's in need of it right now. All four corners for guidance protection. That's my ancestor spirit guides. Archangel Michael. Give me a divine message. It's a whole half of the deck. It's brand new. These are very powerful decks. We want to go with the shaman deck first? Oh, okay, good. My favorite card. <laughs> I mean, I say that about all these cards. Oh, can you see it? Oh, I probably can't. 45. Go your own way. This. Can please, can you see it? There's so much going on. The rabbit is looking what would be, you know, I'm trying to like her right. <laughs> she got all of her spirit guides. She has all of her totems. She has her medicine bag, her own medicine. So you may be a medicine man, medicine woman. And I hope you guys can see this card. You can see back here, like this totem, which is just blowing my mind right now. This is just resonating more than I care to share. <laughs> um, there's this totem pole calling to her. You have all of the tools that you need for this endeavor and, or this um, new venture that you're wanting to go on. You have all the tools you need. You need to trust whatever your higher power is. You need to connect with animals more because animals are, would be very significant for you. Animals, nature, things like that really connect us with our soul and spirit. You have battled many fights doesn't make any sense but you fought many battles you are prepared and as it was said to me today I can't believe I pulled this card as it was said to me today oh no there she goes she almost blew away um though a warrior in many lifetimes um you have no need to continue to fight because everything that you need to fight this perception of war that you may be under, you have. The biggest tool that you have is love. If you do everything with an open mind, an open heart, a loving heart, it has nothing but 
good things to work out for you. I have the Shaman Oracle. I'm going to pull from one of these real quick. I really want to get back inside you guys because there's some classes I really want or some people I want to hear. And, uh, meeting some amazing people. Everybody here is just, today is a totally different vibe. I mean, it wasn't a bad vibe yesterday, but it, it's beautiful today. And I'm going to hurt. Oh, shit. I'm going to have to buy me a new Shaman Oracle. Fuck balls. You guys, give me a second. We have slow but steady, number three. Number 40, retreat. Number 25, anger. The B. Quick to anger. Look at this one. Sorry, you guys, I'm like trying to make sure these don't blow away. Yeah. Somebody is purposely poking the bear with you. Somebody may be pushing your buttons. And remember that we don't have to sign these contracts people put into play for us to test us. When someone makes a comment to you or a, uh, a side comment, if you're a family gathering or whatever, you're at work or whatever, remember everything is energy, okay? So by us responding, we're giving some of our energy away to a situation that isn't for our highest good anyway, you know. And so, this card is calling on someone to really watch your anger because the more, you know, it's like you need to be really slow with your responses because you're responding out of anger. And please, once you change your, your perception of what everybody else is doing to make you angry because you have a choice in how you respond to things. No one can make you angry. No one can make you jealous. No one can make you feel or do anything. We choose to fucking respond that way. Right? Okay. <laughs> so this car's calling you to retreat. Put your guards down. Just like this other card we pulled. They say she's on top. Go your own way. you to find your path and please know that when you it doesn't matter what it is in life it doesn't matter what it is whatever you when you try to do something different when you try to change your destiny when you try to rewrite your story because you have the power to change it all and your past you have the power to rewrite your past too just so you know <clears throat> that the more you step into that, and I can attest to this like everything else, but the more you step into whatever that truth is for you as you rewrite your story, that's when you're going to really feel the heat. That's when you're really going to be triggered. That's when people are going to really come in, you know, and it's never about a person. It's about these energies. Do you really want this? Do you really want to rewrite the story? Do you really want a new life? Because you're going to be, you're going to have to be able to control your anger and understand that you need to be slow and steady with your moves. Slow and steady with what you're doing. Yeah, and it's time for you to retreat. And think about what is triggering your anger. What is it about that person that you are choosing to be, respond with anger or whatever emotion it is that is taking your energy? Because you're not putting your energy on a budget. You're, you're allowing people to have these contracts with you that are taking your energy, that are distraction for whatever it is that you need to be doing. All of these things are distractions. And that's the hardest thing. It's, it's like, and I'm still working through a lot of that. Separating people from energy. Like human beings from actually the energy. Because it's everything's energy. Yeah. So I hope that helped anybody. I know this was a quick read. I'm just going to hurry up and post this um, so I can delete the video. Hopefully it will actually post this time. I'm definitely going to be out in the woods today. don't know where it's going to be, but I guarantee you I'll be talking to some trees. <laughs> Love y'all. Be well.